uh, bidding you welcome to A-Level Drama and Theatre Studies. My name is Damon, I'm one of your two drama teachers. Um, and this first one is just a little bit of who, what and where. So let's get this show on the road. Now hopefully you can see that, just a little welcome page. And there we are. Who are we? There are two of us. Uh, myself, uh, that's a picture of me um, from a very long time ago, must be said. Um, but also there is Isabel, Isabel Higgut, who is your other teacher. Um, we're both um, former professional actors, um, but from very different backgrounds. So we have very different range of personal and professional experiences that we bring to you, uh, which means, of course, you get a much broader um, range of input um, and I'll put a little note on there to say that Isabel and I often disagree about things and that's because of our different backgrounds and our different tastes but actually it's a really important part of the process uh, and one of the things that we want you to embrace um, is to develop the skills to articulate your position and to express your taste whilst at the same time remaining open um, to the input of other people, which is very much what Isabel and I do um, in our working lives. Um, so drama lives in D block um, rather than um, A block where a lot of the A levels live. Um, so all of your teaching takes place in D115, which we know locally in D block is Studio 2. And your performances also take place in the Riverside Theatre, which is also in D Block. To give you a sense of the geography of that, um, you'll see circled uh, reception, which is where you first come into the college if you're coming from the train station or the bus station. Um, and D Block is all the way at the other end of the campus. So um, certainly in those early weeks, if we're your first lesson of the day, Give yourself five minutes extra to get to us and to find us. Um, you can use the main link corridor to get through to us, um, or on a nice day, you can go around the outside past the sports centre and the um, all weather sports pitches as well. Now, D Block, as I say, is where you'll find the Riverside Theatre, where we hold all of your exam um, performances. Um, and it's really important to emphasise that um, you get a full support package. Uh, when you produce those performances. So you have our professional theatre technicians and technical theatre staff, uh, you have the two ladies, Penny and Flower, in the wardrobe, um, working with you for costume, but each piece will also have their own core team of our technical theatre students that will look after you in terms of lighting and sound, props, any bits of set or furniture or scenery that you need, um, it's really important to us that everything looks as good as it possibly can to support the work that you're doing in the space. And obviously the additional bonus is if you feel good about what's in the space with you, it helps lift your performances. So everything is put in there to support um, your achievement in the practical exam. Um, through the two years, it's really important to remember that it's not just about acting. It's, it's not an acting course per se. Um, so you know, it is as academically rigorous as any of your other A-level choices. There's lots of written work, there's coursework that goes alongside your performances. Um, but really at the core of everything we do is this notion of creativity uh, and what we call the three lenses, which you'll find out more about um, later on. So practically, um, you'll do one performance essentially per year. Um, in year two, it's actually two performances, but they are, they are performed at the same time. Um, and practical work going on throughout the two years um, is the key practitioners um, that we will workshop practically so you can get a feel for them as well as get a, a more sort of dry theoretical understanding of their ideas and approaches to making theatre. Um, just a reminder that we also study three plays in uh, considerable detail across your two years. 
Um, the details for these are in the course introduction um, information that you've had already. Um, it's important when you buy your scripts that you get the correct ISBN number. Um, if you're working on a budget and you need to prioritise your purchases, um, we will be starting with cat on a hot tin roof. So um, if you do need to prioritise your spending, um, get that one first. All right, that's one. So I'll say farewell um, ahead of next time we meet. Um, here are our contact details. Please feel free to get in touch with us with any questions between now and September. And uh, all being well, I will see you in September.